Hello dear students, welcome to Science Wise. In this video, we are going to study the remaining portion of chapter 8 that is skeletal and nervous system. In previous video, we have already studied about the organ system, skeletal system, joints, working of muscles and nervous system. Now in this video, this is the part 4 of this chapter. So in this video, we are going to study about reflex action and sense organs. Hope you have enjoyed the previous videos. Reflex action. Bache, first you should know what is reflex action. So reflex action is a sudden and quick response to the stimuli. It is a sudden and quick response to the stimuli. This kind of action is known as reflex action. In book, the definition is action that happens with an immediate and automatic response are called reflex action. For an example, what happened when you walk barefooted on a patch of grass and a thorn flicks your foot? you immediately pull away your foot from the grass. So, the action which you show, that means you immediately pull away your foot from the grass. This is the reflex action or this is the response towards the stimuli and stimuli is the pricking of your foot by a thorn. These actions do not involve brain at all. Ye jo actions hote hai, या ये ऐसे वाले रिस्पॉन्स जो होते हैं जिसको हम एक्शंस बोल रहे हैं ये क्या नहीं करते ब्रेन को इन्वॉल्व नहीं करते हैं इनका डायरेक्ट जो मैसेज सेंड और रिसीव होते हैं वो कहां से होते हैं स्पाइनल कॉर्ड से दे टेक प्लेस व्हेन द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड सेंड द मैसेज टू द बॉडी पार्ट थ्रू द नर्व्स लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड दिस थ्रू एन सिचुएशन बिफोर गोइंग टू सिचुएशन आई विल शो यू द डायग्राम दिस इज द Diagrammatic representation of reflex action. What happens in this? See, see, bache, you can see a hot, a hot vessel or an hot object. This is your hand which is touching the hot object. What happens when you touch an hot object? You immediately pull away or you immediately withdraw your hand from the hot object. Why is this happening? Who gives you the message about this? See, I will explain you in detail. When your hand touches an hot object, your hand is automatically withdrawn from the hot object. This is because your skin has pain receptors which receives the message that the object is hot and it hurts you. The same message the pain receptors give to the spinal cord. This is the message which is sent to the spinal cord. The spinal cord immediately, what does the spinal cord do? The spinal cord return back the message of withdrawing the hand from there. Okay? So, that is why your hand is withdrawn. Clear? Okay, let us understand by the text. Situation. Touching an hot object. Stimulus. Meaning of stimulus is something that incites to act. Touching the hot vessel gives the stimulus to the body part. The body part send a message to the spinal cord through the nerves that it has touched an hot object. Kya hota hai? When you touch an hot object, your body part gives the message to the spinal cord. Hai? Your hand gives the message to the spinal cord that it has touched an hot object. Then in return, the spinal cord sends you the message that you should withdraw your hand. It means your hand sends the message to the spinal cord. Your spinal cord again sends the message to the hand to withdraw your hand from there. 
so the sending of the message by hand to spinal cord is known as stimulus and response the spinal cord sends you the message is known as the response now see once the message is received by the spinal cord it orders the body part to withdraw from the hot object it is called response to the stimulus what is the meaning of response behavior of living thing that results from a stimulus once again i'll go with the diagram this is an hot object your hand touches an hot object there are pain receptors in your hand they send the message to the spinal cord theek hai bachche they send the message to the spinal cord this process of sending the message to the spinal cord is known as stimulus now in return what does the spinal cord do spinal cord send an order to the hand that you have to withdraw your hand from there spinal cord sends an order theek hai to withdraw your hand this is known as response clear very good now come to the next part that is sense organ since from very early stage we have learned about five sense organs we have five sense organs that is eye ear nose skin and tongue these organs help us to feel the world around us like eyes we have eyes to see the world we have ears to listen the sounds nose to smell skin for protection and tongue for speaking right also for the taste now one by one we will come to the all the five sense organs first is eye this is the structure of an eye the very first transparent covering is known as cornea second the black spot in the eye is pupil iris iris is the blackish color circle in the eye that is iris lens then optic nerve optic nerve is the nerve which sends the message to the brain okay eyes we have a pair of eyes it means we have two eyes that help us to see the eyes are one of the most sensitive part in our body they are placed in the eye sockets of our skull skull has the eye socket in which our eyes are placed let us discuss some important part of the eyes already i have told you about the important parts in the diagram now let us read it out cornea cornea is the circular transparent area in front of the eye then second is iris the col it is the color circle in the eye third pupil it look like a black spot it is placed from where it is a place from where light enters the lens optic nerve it is a kind of sensory nerve remember this it is the sensory nerve it connects eye to the brain ye kya karti hai eyes ko brain se connect karti hai okay bachche next is ear second sense organ is ear we have a pair of ear that help us to hear ear help us in maintaining the balance this is the main function one of the main function that ear helps in maintaining the balance of our body and hence they are also known as the balancing organ ears are known as the balancing organ remember this let us learn about different parts of the ear now we are going to learn about the different part of the ear and the function they perform this is the diagram of the ear the smallest bone of the body is step is which is present in the ear 
one by one i'll go through the diagram first the outer ear which is visible to us is known as pinna this portion is visible to us this is known as pinna next is the ear canal melanus this portion is melanus incus this this one is the incus next is tympatic membrane or known as the eardrum tympatic membrane and eardrum and cochlea this portion the coiled portion is known as cochlea say it correct before going through the different parts of the ear say it correct auditory auditory tympic melanus stapes now the ear is divided into three parts the outer ear the middle ear and the inner ear first we will study about the outer ear it consists of pinna and the ear canal see this is the outer ear and it consists of pinna and the ear canal this much portion is the outer ear only this the blue box na this is the outer ear it consists of your pinna and ear canal only pinna is the part of the ear that is visible to us it receives the sound from the outside and pass it into the ear drum through the ear canal this is the function of pinna ear canal next is ear canal a long tube like see a long tube like canal shaped is known as the ear canal it is also known as external auditory canal external means bahar and internal means andar it connects the outer ear to the middle ear it connects the outer ear to the middle ear coming to the next that is middle ear a thin membranous structure called eardrum or tympatic membrane eardrum is known as tympatic membrane don't get confused separates the outer ear from the middle ear the middle ear consists of three bones that is melanus incus and stapes stapes is the smallest bone of the human body remember this again and again i am saying you stapes is the smallest bone of the human body and femur is the largest bone which is present in thigh stapes is present in your ear in which part of the ear the middle ear they help to pass sound from the ear drum to the inner ear in tino bones ka function kya hai कि ये जो साउंड है उसको पास करते हैं कहां पे ईयर ड्रम से मिडिल ईयर तक नाउ इनर ईयर इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ कोइका इट इज द पार्ट ऑफ द ईयर दैट ट्रांसफॉर्म्स द साउंड इनटू नर्व सिग्नल एंड सेंड इट टू द ब्रेन क्या करते हैं ये जो साउंड है इनर ईयर का काम क्या है बच्चे कि साउंड को ट्रांसफॉर्म करना नर्व सिग्नल में और डायरेक्ट ब्रेन की तरफ भेज देना क्लियर ओके नेक्स्ट इज नोज द नोज हेल्प अस टू स्मेल इट इज प्राइम ऑर्गन दैट अलाउज द oxygen to enter our body during respiration it means it allows the respiration to take place means the exchange of gases takes place through the nose the inner lining of the nose has fine ear and mucus the hair and mucus help to trap the dust particles present in the inhaled air 
इनहेल्ड मीन्स जो एयर हम अंदर ले रहे हैं उसको हम बोलते हैं इनहेल्ड एयर ठीक है ये आपके नोज है ठीक है यहां नोज में क्या प्रेजेंट है बच्चे हेयर प्रेजेंट है और म्यूकस प्रेजेंट है जो कि क्या करता है आप जो एयर अंदर लेते हैं ना यहां से जो एयर अंदर जा रही है तो उसमें डस्ट पार्टिकल्स होते हैं ठीक है उस डस्ट पार्टिकल्स को ये हेयर और म्यूकस यहीं पे ट्रैप कर लेता है द एयर एंटर द नोज थ्रू द पार्ट थ्रू अ पेयर ऑफ नोस्ट्रिल दिस इज नोन एज नोस्ट्रिल द टू होल्स आर नोन एज योर नोस्ट्रिल्स The nostril lead to the nasal cavity. The hollow cavity is known as the nasal cavity. This portion is your nasal cavity that is lined with smelly, smell sensitive cells. These cells helps to de detect odor. Odor means smell. The word is new to you. That is odor, which means smell, and send the message to the brain. और ऑर्डर को डिटेक्ट करता है और क्या करता है बच्चे मैसेज को ब्रेन तक पहुंचाता है योर नेक्स्ट ऑर्गन इज टंग टंग हेल्प अस टू डिटेक्ट डिफरेंट टेस्ट ऑल दो डिलीशियस फूड यू ईट ना टंग हेल्प यू टू से दैट दिस इज द स्वीट दिस इज द सॉल्टी फूड दिस इज बिटर दिस इज सोर इन टेस्ट सो ऑल दिस डिफरेंट टेस्ट बर्ड्स आर देयर इन योर टंग sweet salty bitter and sour it has numerous taste buds that are spread all over the surface of the tongue these bird help to detect different taste and send the message to the brain okay bachche see this is the different taste buds in your tongue the very first is salty then sweet here a both the sides it is sour and the last you will get the taste of bitter is this clear fifth sense organ is skin the skin forms the outer covering of the body it help us to feel touch sense heat cold pressure and pain under the surface of there are nerves that detect the touch and send the message to the brain hope so this video is clear to you all keep watching science wise thank you